Welcome back to Simple Pure Whole Wellness. Today I'm going to look at the concept of dysautonomia. What happens when the autonomic nervous system malfunctions? Dysautonomia refers to a group of several different medical conditions that can cause an abnormality in the function of the autonomic nervous system. People with various forms of dysautonomia have trouble regulating some or all of the largely automatic functions of the autonomic nervous system, which can result in lightheadedness, fainting, unstable blood pressure, abnormal heart rates, malnutrition, and other symptoms. The autonomic nervous system is composed of three major divisions, the sympathetic and parasympathetic branches and the enteric nervous system. Together, these control the automatic functions of the body that you don't consciously think about, like heart rate, blood pressure, digestion, dilation and constriction of the pupils, kidney function, and temperature control. Disorders of the autonomic nervous system can affect any body part or process and can be reversible or progressive. Disorders which contribute to autonomic insufficiency or failure can originate in the peripheral or central nervous system and be primary or secondary to other disorders. Although often missed, dysautonomia impacts over 70 million people worldwide. Primary dysautonomia can result from several different inherited or degenerative neurological diseases, while secondary dysautonomia occurs from a variety of causes or processes that damage the autonomic nerves or parts of the brain that help control body processes, including diabetes, multiple sclerosis, autoimmune diseases, Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, craniocervical instability, Chiari malformation, Crohn's disease, mitochondrial dysfunction, toxicity, vitamin deficiencies, and more. Some of the most common forms of dysautonomia include postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, or POTS, neurocardiogenic syncope, orthostatic intolerance, autoimmune autonomic ganglionopathy, and pure autonomic failure. The potential symptoms of dysautonomia are numerous and vary widely for each individual. In general, symptoms result from inefficient or unbalanced efferent signals sent via the sympathetic and or the parasympathetic systems. Common symptoms of dysautonomia include lightheadedness, vertigo, syncope, blood pooling, fatigue, exercise intolerance, anxiety, tachycardia, dysregulated sweating, mental clouding, insomnia, unstable blood pressure, nausea, shortness of breath, and others. There are various tests that can be used to assess autonomic function. These may include measuring heart rate and blood pressure in various positions utilizing a tilt table test, sweat testing, and other investigations. The diagnosis of dysautonomia depends on the evaluation of the overall status of autonomic functions, including investigating cardiovagal, adrenergic, and pseudomotor functioning. I'll provide some links in the information box below for more information about the autonomic nervous system and how dysautonomia occurs. I'll also provide a guide for my toolkit for addressing POTS and dysautonomia for some of the top lifestyle medicine strategies you can use to deal with the symptoms. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it's been useful and if you've enjoyed it, I'd love if you'd subscribe and give us a thumbs up for more simple, pure, whole wellness.